I give you the senator from Illinois and the next president of the United States, Mr. Barack Obama. And today we have the chance to face the challenges of this millennium together. He's a guy with a big wide smile saying what needs to be said. He's got the people on his side as he closes the divide. This guy's turning some heads. You see him on the television, hear him on the radio, read about him in the news. He's talking broad strokes, inspirational notes. He's got change on a very short fuse. He's reaching out for us. Is he the one that we can trust? He's the man. Let's go. What those challenges are today. A war with no end. A dependence on oil that threatens our future. Schools where too many children are learning. He's got what it takes. Learn from his mistakes. Working for human rights. Keeps us focused on the prize. It's time for us to rise. Raising up by the new heights. So many are need is taking the lead off and hope where there was none before. He's crossing social lines, a new sign of the times. A sleeping lion waking with a roar. He's reaching out for us. Finally, someone we can trust. He's the man. The we man, know the challenges. The We've man, heard them. We've the talked man, about them for years. Man, what stopped us from meeting the these challenges the is not the absence of sound the policies. Man, and what stopped us the is the failure of leadership. The ease with which we're distracted by the petty and trivial, our chronic avoidance of tough decisions, our preference for scoring cheap political points instead of rolling up our sleeves and building a working consensus to tackle the big problems of America. We can believe, we believe, we believe, we believe. We can believe, we believe, we believe, we believe. We believe, we believe, we believe, we believe. Ooh, yes, we can. People who love their country can change it. Gotta end this war, new directions to explore. Open closed doors, let in the light. It doesn't have to be a new horizon we can see. Changes within our sights. It's time to reconcile hate and fear of futile. Just look at all of the costs. How about compassion? It's coming back in fashion. True love is never lost. It's leading a brand new way. A new vision, a brand new day. He's a man. It's time for us to man, step up man, and meet man, these challenges. The man, and the man, create the, the kind man, of politics the that's man, not based on division, man, it's not based on hatred, it's not based on fear, need. but it's based on man. hope. Yes, we can succeed. And that is the kind of politics that we expect to create in this election. We are one. There's more that binds us together than drives us apart. That we are all one people. That we are bound together. That we have mutual responsibilities towards each other. That I am my brother's keeper. That I am my sister's keeper. We've forgotten that. We've got to return to that spirit that builds America. He's a man. You know that we can. He's a man. One planet. He's a man. One race. He's a man. One family. He's a man. One destiny. He's a man. One love. Today we are called once more. Time for our generation to answer that call. He's a man. Yes, we can believe. He's a man. We've only just begun. We are one. Evolution. I am absolutely confident that we can create the kind of America that our children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren deserve. Let's get to work. Thank you.